Say that I'm bringing to you by Abia Smoka. My beautiful family, please, if you have not subscribed and you have been thinking of coming across my video, have you have not subscribed? Please, this is time for you to do it to promote me. Oh, to promote me to ginger my morale. You understand that? Uh, what I go and. For my subscribers already, I love you all. May God, God richly bless you all in the mighty name of Jesus. I've come with good tidings. I've come with the greetings from heaven above to you all, my beautiful family. I'm here to teach on the topic, God's choice. God's choice. Hallelujah. We are going to be reading first Samuel. Chapter 16, verse 7. It says, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his statue. Don't look just face. Or muzzle. Okay. Because I have refused him, for the Lord seeed not has mad yet for man look at on the outward appearance but the lord look at on the heart god look into your heart not just your appearance but we today we look appearance we look how god just the person look how handsome the person look how beautiful the person look not knowing the heart, but God, but God Almighty, look into the heart. He look into the heart before he choose. If you want to choose anybody, he does not choose because you have money. He will not choose you because you have money. You are wealthy because of whatsoever you represent. He choose you because he want to choose you. You cannot detect for him. He choose whosoever you want to choose. That is God for you. That is God for you. Rich people, they will choose the people that are wealthy like them. That are of their class, of their standard. But when God wants to choose, He can choose somebody from the gutters. He can choose somebody who don't even who don't even have anything upstairs, he will choose the person to use the person mightily, bless the person beyond, beyond the person's imagination. That is what God can do in our life. You know, one of the evil, one of the evil in this generation is that we have dedicated 
our time, energy, choice, choice, and resource to the things that are not important to our life. We dedicate our time to things that are not important in our life. That the things that God will not even consider as a choice in a man. That is what we choose. That is what we consider. What God will not even consider as a choice in a man. That is what we consider. We look at those people, we say, ah, this one, the way it does be so, it does the way it does dance so, so it does good. Ah, this person is God's choosing. For where? For where? What God can what God will not consider in a man, that is what this generation, that is what we run after. We run after. Man give, gives a more more cons, uh, more concentration. And priority to 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 uh, to the flesh, to the flesh. Man, man, man is so consigned. How will I put that that English now? Man is so consigned about how how he looks, how he want to adore himself, how he will uh, how he will uh, uh, adore himself from head to toes. They are so consigned. And we neglect the condition of the heart. We neglect the condition of the heart. We neglect the condition of what God wants in a man. We neglect that. We choose what God will not consider. That is what we run after. We run after 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 frivolities. We run after things that will not even take us anywhere. We neglect the things of the heart. We neglect the things of the spirit. We neglect everything. We consider on ourselves how we are going to adore ourselves. How we are going to look, beloved. Before we do anything, let us consider God first. This thing that I'm going, going, going for now is the, uh, 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 the uh, I want to put the English now. Did God consider this thing as is it is it a rightful thing for me to to do? Is it the choice of God for me? Is it the choice of God for me? Many people go into marriage without even considering God, without even seeking for God's permission, just because of the beauty. The outside, we forget the things of the heart. We run inside and we run out. At the end, we begin to say, God, why? Why won't you say God when you did not call God for anything that you are doing? What God will not even consider as a choice you consider as a choice. Some people will say, ah, that, ah, that woman, that woman is, ah, is she's too dull for my liking. Or some women will say, ah, that man is not my speck. Is not my speck. Make that man your speck. Make that woman who you want her to be. Build that up. Build him up to become your speck. Because the people that you look as a choice, it is not a, it is not God's choice for you. It is not God's choice for you. We should stop running after frivolities, running after after what we know we know amount to anything, what will not last long for us. We should stop considering what will not go anywhere for us. The main the, the main factor God consider. In his choice, the main fact of God consider in his choice. When we look at David, David did not live a luxury life. He never lived a luxury life. He never even he, 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 he never even have that that time, neither the 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 opportunity to live in the city. He never. He never. But God chose him. 
God choose him. He never, he never even think that ah, a day like this will come that I will become. No. God choose him because he want to choose him. Because it's his choice. He know that what he want to put in his hand is the right person to, to do it well. He's not looking for handsomeness or beauty or money or whatsoever you, you may consider. We are God image and likeness. We should behave like God. We should think like God. We should be, we should, anything we want to do, let God go first. God, Baba, this is when I want to do. So please look into him whether you consider him as your choice before I go into it. Before I go into even some people say God will sit at them. No, this one so not be the waiting at Pico is not my choice. They will sit through their head put just because they look appearance. They look at the appearance and they forget the things of the arts. Hallelujah. David did not live a luxury life yet. Prophet Samuel said. He was the man God has chosen. God has chosen. You need not to be the choice of man. You need not to be the choice of man. You need not to be the choice of anybody. Hallelujah. You need not to be the choice of anybody. It does not matter what my choice is for you, their opinion for you, the, 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 the what they consider for you. It does not matter. Don't consider the choice of man for yourself. Don't settle yourself for the less. Don't take yourself as a second fiddle. Never. Always take yourself as the number one. Number one. Don't put you, don't, don't take the, don't let man determine for you. Say, ah, this is what I, I want for you. Don't let man determine for you. When man determine for you, they will rule your life. Rule everything that God destined, destined upon you. They will rule it for you. If you cannot sense in the spirit to say, ah, this one, I'm not going there. I need the one that God has chosen for me. Don't consider my opinion. Because my opinion will not, will not lead you anywhere. My opinion does not count when God chooses who he prefer. When God chooses who he prefer, my opinion does not count. Hallelujah. We are going to read Genesis 48, 13 to 20. Let's see what God said there. Genesis 48. Hallelujah. Genesis 48, verse 13. And Joseph took them both, Ephron, in his right hand, towards Israel, left hand, and Manasseh in his left hand towards Israel right hand and brought them near unto him hallelujah brought them near unto him because of time and let me explain that place you see this verse talk about Joseph Joseph has two sons has two sons so, he, he took these two sons to go and meet his father, Israel, to bless them. Okay, what happened? He took his first son in his right hand. He took the second son in his left hand. Took them to his father. And he gave them to the father. Father, bless my children for me. Put... Because the father was blind. 
pull the the, uh, uh, the the senior one to the right hand of the father. And when the father wants to bless, what does it? What did he do? He placed his right hand upon the, la the, the the second son's head and the left hand upon the senior one's head. So, the, John, uh, uh, Joseph began to ask, ah, Joseph was thinking that maybe the father, because the father was blind, he can't see well. He can't see well. Okay. Let me tell you. He tell him, father, this one is the second son. And this is the first son. And you are putting your right hand on the second son's head. And you are putting your left on the first son's head. The father said, I know. I know. The second son, God will bless him also. But the, 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 uh, the first son, excuse me, the first son, God will bless him equally. But the second son is what God has chosen. God chose the second son, not because he was blind. He blind physically, but he was not blind spiritually. He was not blind spiritually. Hallelujah. He blesses the second son. And he blessed the, the first son. But differently. The second son was the one that God has chosen. To continue. To continue the line. To continue. The first one will be blessed. No doubt. But the, the second one is the person after God's heart. Is the person that God has chosen. Is the person that God has chosen. Hallelujah. When you look at the life of Joseph, uh, Daniel, Esther, and David, all of them had beautiful, beautiful inside, inside. They have beautiful inside right in their heart. They have beautiful right in their heart. For God to choose, for God to choose, he consider, he consider not, he consider not the good and beautiful or look or uh, 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 or uh, your position. If God wants to choose, He does not consider how good you look, beautiful you look, your look, and uh, every other thing. God does not consider that one. What people mentioned, uh, 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 what people see, God does not see that one because He look into the heart. He chooses who He want to choose. When you see, Joseph was not the firstborn of uh, Israel, Jacob. He was not the, the first son. Neither was he the, he was not the first, neither second, neither third, neither fourth. He's very, very far back. But God chose him. He chose him to be the one to, to rescue his people. To be the one to rescue his people in time of need. Hallelujah. Don't consider what God will not consider as a choice for you. Don't consider what God cannot, God, what God will not even see as a choice for you. Yet the fact, God is selective. That is a fact. God is selective. He is not limited limited by, 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 by uh, 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 non-availability. Say, I'm not there. He, he not there limited to that one. He knows what he is looking for in a man. When God choosing, uh, chooses people to do his purpose, to fulfill his plan, he knows what he's looking for. He always go deeper than appearance tradition, education, or position. It goes beyond that. It goes deeper than that. Your qualification. It goes beyond that. 
He can choose an illiterate who don't even know anything, who don't even know how to read. Make him say, okay, make him begin to preach. Person will not know anything. How you want to preach? <laughs> he can do that. And you will so surprise the person that you call illiterate when you go carry Bible, you go, you go carry Bible, you go quote him from the beginning to the end for you. You will be amazed. How did it happen? Because that is what God can do. When God choose, He make everything ready for you. He prepare everything for you. Whatsoever purpose He choose you for, is ready to make everything available for you. He don't care about your tradition, your education, your position, your qualification, your PhD, or whatsoever that you have got. God does not care. He not even, that one not even they shake him. He look deep inside the heart to choose a man. He can pick a man from the gutter. He can pick a man from anywhere. He can make, he can pick a, a, a wretched and poor person and clean him up. He can even pick a mad person. Somebody that is mad. Everybody knows say the person is mad. I know we have seen a mad person reading, quoting the Bible, preaching. And the person demand. That is what God can do. What he say, he don't know what he do. He know what he's doing. When he comes to the things of God, he know what he's doing. He might be going wacko, but he know what he's doing. He know what he's doing. Being beautiful in appearance does not stop him from choosing you either. He can still choose even if you are beautiful. He can still choose you. So let us be glad. We that is opportune to walk in his vineyard. We that is opportune to sing in his vineyard. We that is opportune to be in his prayer in, in his vineyard. Let's be glad that God has chosen us. Let's be glad. Let's be happy. Let's be glamoury. Let's be rejoicing that God has chosen us. God has considered us. Consider us as choice for him, as somebody that he would use to preach the gospel, to reach to the world, to sing to the world. Let's be glad. If God choose you for anything, if God choose you for you to be a singer for, for him, do it. Remove your ear for side talk. If they do it, do they do of wasabi? Yes, do of wasabi for God. You never hear that song. Not be say I decrease so. I decrease for God. If you teach say I decrease, I decrease for God. If you teach say I decolo, I decolo for. If you teach say I do of wasabi, as why the is for his the sake of God. Yes, call me of wasabi. I will not send you because I know what I'm doing. If God choose you for you to be a preacher. Do it well. Don't follow corners. If God called you to be an, evangel an evangelist, evangelize well. If God called you for you to be a prophet, do. Prophesy well. Don't go and be saying this one if you don't pay money. If you don't pay me, I will not see you. If you don't pay me, I will not pray for you. I will not preach for you. I will not do this one for you. Freely you get. Give it out freely. Give it out freely. And see the mighty power of God upon your life. That you begin to marvel. How? How did things they happen? When God choose you, whatsoever God has choose you for, do it well. And receive the blessing from Him. Stop selling. Stop considering. Stop saying yes. Now what the person get now they make money. Stop that. Freely you get. Freely you give. If God consider you as a choice, we should be glad to be in his vineyard. Because it's not easy to be in his vineyard. It is not easy. Do what God has called you to do well. As you do this, may God richly bless you. Beyond your imagination. In Jesus' name. Amen. Stay.